The Independent National Electoral Commission in River State says it will commence expansion of polling units for eligible voters. The Resident Electoral Commission in River State, Obo Ifang, in a media briefing at the State Secretariat in Port Harcourt, said the exercise of creating polling units was last carried out 25 years ago. He noted that INEC currently have 4,442 but intends to convert 2,424 voting points in the state to full-fledged polling units, adding that when the proposed polling units are verified, a total number of 6,866 will be the new polling units in the state. The Independent National Electoral Commission has uh, commenced activities that would lead to the decongestion of our polling units and ultimately increase the number of people uh, of polling units in the country. Please recall that during the last general election, all polling units in Nigeria that had more than 750 registered voters were qualified for the establishment of a voting point. INEC looks to converting 2,424 voting points in River State to fully fledged polling units. When these new proposed polling units are verified and ratified by the Commission, the total number of polling units in River State will be 6,866. Those numbers we believe would be adequate to serve the current registered voters of 3,215,273. Highlights highlighted some of the places where the units will be sited in line with the INEC guidelines. The siting of polling units, INEC is bound by certain guidelines set out by the Commission. These include that the polling units shall be in public places, preferably centrally located and accessible. Uh, they shall be in non sectarian locations such as schools town or community halls, health centers, court premises, and public recreational centers. Uh, they shall also be, as much as possible, situated, located in spacious facilities to adequately seat election officials, political party agents, election observers, and voters, if necessary. Similarly, INEC cannot site polling units in private compounds, royal palaces, residences of government officials, political party buildings, places designated for religious worship, or any building into which a voter may under any circumstances be denied access except as prescribed by law or regulation. And they can't also be cited in buildings or facilities that are in dispute. The reverse INS bus further announced that continuous voters' registration will commence on June 28 across the country, adding that all new registrants and current voters will be transferred to the new polling units as and when ready. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.